Hey guys. How your lame ass wants to get the to all the boys I love. Bitch. Yes. That's what I want. I want the whole they have sequels. She weird. Why you love love so much? Bitch, bitch, I don't know. Love makes me happy. Fuck love though. It's she weird. It's not for me, but it makes me happy. Bro, I've been coughing so much that my diaphragm hurts. You know, now I know where the fucking body parts are, bitch. Now I can be technical. With your medical terminology class? Because I've been coughing Bitch, so what do you have? I don't fucking know. You I've gone to a doctor? Yes, I have. And they diagnosed me with bronchitis. But, bitch, I think it's more severe now. I think it's fucking with my asthma now. And that smoke? I'm just saying, fuck my life. You are your mother's daughter. Oh my god, there's cancer, no, no. Bro, okay, let me tell you about my keep my um friends that I made in biology. They weird. How so? Cause bro, they How don't you like Barnes and Noble. How the hell you talk to them with your anti-social ass? They sat beside me. Oh, they're cool. I like them. But um, bro, they don't like Barnes and Noble. They don't fuck with Barnes and Noble. Why? Only, only one of them do. I was Why? Like, I don't know, bro. They say it's boring, and I was just like, you've never gone. <laughs> you never, you don't know how to read. You don't know how to read. Oh, fuck, I dropped the blunt, man. It's like, fuck, bitch. Let me you tell keep you. dropping the fucking blunt. Ah, fuck, man. Right after I said, you, you, someone's fucking your bitch, you were like, hell nah. Nah. Uh, <laughs> bitch, I was just doing shit. I was fucking reading. Bitch, I was keeping myself up for no, I was fighting myself for no fucking reason. So... Bitch, I end up fucking sitting in bed, bitch. TV not even on, bitch. I'm staring at the fucking wall. I'm staring at the fucking wall. And so, I just start thinking, bro. And I'm like, I don't know, bro. I don't even know if he knows, like, bro. He comes down here and spends two fucking, fucking hours with me, bro. He spends a fucking weekend down here. And I don't think that shit is fair. It's like, I be fucking waiting on him to get here on the weekends. To see him, to spend the weekend with him, spend as much time as I can with him. He spends two fucking hours with me, bro. And I don't know, this shit just pissed me off. And I was like, you know what? See? I've come to the conclusion where I just feel like, I don't know. I just come to the conclusion where I feel like. I like how Natalie says it. What the fuck did that bitch say? Oh, um, she's like. I know it's a privilege to be fucking with me. Yeah, you need that mood. You need that attitude. Yeah, bitch. That's why I was like, I was like, God, take the negativity out of my life. And, bro, he's the only negative thing that's happened this fucking week. He's the source of that negative energy, bitch. I need to get rid of it. Go ahead, bitch. I can't We've been telling you for the longest. I feel like God's already sent you signs to take out the negativity out of your I life. I know. And I don't fucking take them. I don't take a fucking hit. Exactly. Why didn't you iron that shirt, Sam? Fuck you. What the fuck is wrong with you, bitch? Fuck you. I hate when you do that shit. You look like you just fucking can't. You look like you just don't give a fuck about your fucking appearance, man. Have some. Have some. Have some I tried. Bro. I actually did it. Fuck you. You did? You tried to iron it? Yeah. Oh no, baby girl. <laughs> no. I don't know what the fuck you tried to do. Was it even on, bitch? <laughs> yes. Uh, don't look like it. Okay, bitch, let's go. <laughs> I love you, bitch. Bye, y'all. Kayla's like lost somewhere. I don't know where. For a Rick and Morty. Okay, for one of Bro, Kayla's lost. I keep texting her. And I told her I'm at like the games and stuff. And she's like, bitch, what? She barely goes to Barnes and Noble, bro. I don't know where she at. No.
had a reading class. It's about a girl who um, basically got sold into um, being a sex slave. And yeah, she ended up getting out. She was treated really, really bad. Um, yeah. But then she ended up going back to her family in India. No, in the Himalayas, I mean. Mm -hmm. That's about. Uh, oh shit. I read this book though. It's about like suicide becomes an epidemic. And it's pretty good. And this is the second book, but I didn't keep reading it. You weird bitch. But yeah, y'all want to know about the books? Okay, this is what I got. Sam recommended me this book, Girl in Pieces. It looks sad as fuck, but she said it was relatable, and I trust this bitch. So, and I relate to her in multiple aspects, so this is this. And then I got this other book. It's called I'll Give You the Sun. I mostly got it for my sisters because it's about some twins, and one of them gets in an accident. And it just makes him realize that I guess he should have loved his little bit more when he was there, appreciated him. And I just want them to, to appreciate each other because they fight a lot. Like, y'all don't fucking notice, but these bitches fight a lot. Verbal and fucking physical. And I just need these bitches to know that they need each other at the end of the day. Yeah, basically. So I got a book that's called We Are Okay. Um, I didn't read what the fuck it's about, but Kayla told me to get it. It so, looks really good. I'm gonna so Kayla told okay. Me. Then I got This Is Not the End. I didn't read a lot about it. It's just about it said if you could choose one person to bring back to life, who would it be? And it's about this girl that she killed her best friend and boyfriend in a car accident. And she has to choose, basically, like, they let you choose one person to bring back to life when you're 18. They only give you, like, a few days, and if you don't choose who, then you just don't choose at all. And, um, it's saying that she had already promised someone that she was gonna resurrect them, but they're not even dead yet. So, yeah. It's a mystery book. Or he who shall not be named or died in a car accident, I would choose you. Boys gonna go. <laughs> you my you my bitch for life, bro. No shit. And then there's a book that both me and Kayla got. Kayla, why don't you show them? The subtle art of not giving a fuck. I don't know from what we read so far. It's like relatable as fuck as like. Basically, we could have wrote this book. Yeah. To be honest. But he beat us to it. Word. But yeah, guys, that was what we got. But yeah, thanks for coming, you know, with us to Orange and Noble. And yeah, bro. Is like, um, please comment full ideas for more videos. Um, we don't know if you guys like these type of vlogs and stuff, so... Let us know if we do and if you want to see more content. And if not, then let us know what we should do. Alright guys, bye. Hope you guys bye. have a great day.